Today, we're tackling five questions for the Kubernetes and Cloud Native Security Associate exam, specifically under the domain of compliance and security frameworks. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. Now, let's get started. Here comes question one. Which compliance framework is widely used to ensure cloud environments meet security and privacy requirements? A. NIST Cybersecurity Framework, CSF. B. Container Security Standard, CSS. C. Kubernetes Compliance Framework, KCF. D. Cloud Infrastructure Security Standards, CISS. Absolutely, it's A. NIST Cybersecurity Framework, CSF. The NIST CSF provides a structured approach to managing cybersecurity risks in cloud-native environments. Let's tackle question two. What is the main purpose of threat modeling frameworks in Kubernetes? A, to automate container deployment pipelines. B, to identify, analyze, and mitigate potential security threats. C, to standardize API server configurations. D, to allocate persistent storage for pods. I you nailed it. It's B, to identify, analyze, and mitigate potential security threats. Threat modeling frameworks, such as Stride and ATTCK, help teams proactively identify vulnerabilities and design mitigation strategies to secure Kubernetes clusters. Here comes question three. How can Kubernetes supply chain compliance be improved? A, by storing container images in public repositories. B, by integrating image scanning and signing tools into CI-CD pipelines, C, by disabling pod security admission controls, D, by using unsigned and unscanned container images. Correct, it's B, by integrating image scanning and signing tools into CI-CD pipelines. Automating image scanning ensures that only secure and compliant container images are deployed. Let's tackle question four. Which tool is commonly used to automate compliance checks in Kubernetes clusters? A, Kubernetes dashboard. B, open policy agent OPA. C, container network interface CNI. D, horizontal pod autoscaler HPA. Absolutely, it's B, open policy agent OPA. OPA allows you to define and enforce compliance policies as code, automating governance across your Kubernetes cluster. Finally, question five. How does automation enhance Kubernetes platform security? A, by reducing the need for resource monitoring. B, by eliminating manual configurations that can introduce vulnerabilities. C, by enabling unrestricted API access. D, by allowing all users to deploy workloads. You got it, it's B by eliminating manual configurations that can introduce vulnerabilities. Automation reduces human error, ensures consistent security practices, and allows for rapid detection and remediation of potential threats. That's all for today. Hopefully you found these questions helpful. If you want more exam questions, visit our official website, kubernotes.org.